What's up, guys? It is Shadow Monster here with another video. So, today, um, I'm sure you guys how to get corn on crystals. And yes, you're probably gonna say it is way too late. Why did you decide to make the video now? Um, one, because I wanted to summon. So, I have 1,241 corn crystals. I was gonna do a dual summon with my friend. But he said he wanted to save up to get higher. And we only have a week left for this banner. One week. So if I don't get to summon, then that's going to be terrible. But this banner could come out in like probably like in June or either like a bait banner for fourth anniversary. This can probably come out and I probably will summon. Because... This character right now in this meta is the best character in the game. So, I I don't know that for sure because I don't have the character. But I saw gameplays, and as he looked, and as I saw, he looked pretty snap. So, I'm going to show you guys all the ways how to get Chrono Crystals. And make sure you do these because if you don't be able to do these in like a week, this would be very, very bad. And yeah. And then, I'm, and yeah, so number one, the best part is the raid. The raid. 1,400 amazing Chrono Crystals. Again, I went to the exchange shop. I completed almost everything. So, I just got like, what, 600 Chrono Crystals from this raid? And plus, I also got that extra 1,000 because of the Bloodless Festival mode. Plus... We have the missions for 300, so that's like a total of 1,300. Don't count the Legends Festival missions because, but we're just gonna count them anyway. So we have 1,300 Chrono Crystals, plus 3,000. That is 4,300 Chrono Crystals. Now, we do have PvP. Now, there are two things you can get Chrono Crystals from in PvP. One, you can get it from Legends Battle Royale, so make sure you guys play this. You can also get it from Treasure Battle, but again, it is basic luck. I don't think there's a, I don't think it requires scale to get the. Well, I don't think. I know it's not required scale to get the 1,000 Chrono Crystals or any Chrono Crystals that that matter for Treasure Battle. And you also have the regular old PVP that I've been in this game since day one. Um, not even day one. I think, like, I don't know when. but Because uh, I haven't started the game then. But, and it says, so yeah, 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 yeah. If you go here, you can see. If you rank, like, top 10,000, you can get 1,600 Chrono Crystals. But if you rank, like, let's say top 5, 1,000. 1,000. I'll just say that right now. So let's say you have, you go rank 10,000, you go rank 2, you go rank um, place 10,000 plus 10,000 and get 1,600 Chrono Crystals. And for the, um, for the group rewards, for the, um, yeah, the group rewards, you can get, let's say you in rank, let's say you in rank 1, or like rank 2, and like 300 Chrono Crystals. That's a total of 1,900. So you're gonna add that on we gotta, we're gonna add that on, and if I map this correct, we have six thousand two hundred Chrono Crystals. Not too shabby, not too shabby, not too shabby. So yes, and you guys like probably like, if these ways are so good of getting Chrono Crystals, why don't you do them? I mean, you make it sound so simple. It's it's, easy, it's easier said than done. I I don't think, I don't. I, it, it's very okay it is very challenging and i'm gonna say this one more time it is very challenging to do all this in a week in a week yeah man it is something crazy next is the story mode people people sleep on story mode i still don't get why story mode is probably one of the best ways to get chrono crystals in this game if not the best way other than the raid and like the battle gauntlets, I think story mode is one of the best ways to get Chrono Crystals. I mean, look, 
I'll look at the all of these. A total, if I complete all of these, it's gonna give you like a total of like ten thousand. Ten thousand. And I'm gonna show you guys how to get thirty thousand. Just to literally boost y'all up so y'all can be able to get this Gogeta. I'm summoning myself. I am summoning myself. So at the end of this, I'ma try to like find my ways to get the credit crystals and then we might let me say it again. We might summon. Because I might want to save up to get more. So, yeah. And I'm going to pray it one more time. We might summon. So, yeah. That's like, let's just add like 10,000. So, we have a total of 16,200. That is not even close to being shabby. We also have co-op, which is probably the, which is probably a normal way to get Chrono Crystals. People sleep on this, even though I still don't get why. But yeah, I, I yeah I don't get why. But you could get a total of six hundred and six Chrono Crystals. The six Chrono Crystals really doesn't matter. So let's just say six hundred. That's a total of sixteen thousand and eight hundred Chrono Crystals. That is probably one of, that is probably the best. Okay, that's not the best. But yeah, let's go. We also have the Chad's Hoi Poi, which actually, Hoi Poi gives you so much. Because if, wait, 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 wait. Because when you pull one of those medals, when you pull one of those medals, if you pull three of them, you could get 300 Chrono Crystals. And that's if you pull three of them. You, some people get unlucky and don't even pull one of them. So, yeah, make sure you guys, um, do the do the do the hoi poi because if they do a hoi poi three if they do a hoi poi three that will actually be kind of godlike but yeah uh, uh again we we are not getting that no matter how hard we, we are not getting the hoi poi three I, I i think it's i think we're high i think i'm doubting that i am doubting that because it says this hoi poi two is on the 25th of this year 25th of january and the the Legends Festival ends on like the eighteenth of January, so in like what's today? In January the third, and if it ends, we have like what fifteen more days, or AKA two weeks until this Legends Festival ends. So guys, get your Chrono Crystals ready because not only that the not only that Legends Festival ends very soon, this banner ends very soon. Like if this banner ends in three days, everybody has to summon. If you have them spare Chrono Crystals, it's just summon. I'm not summoning on this New Year's Rising because, again, Beast Gohan is in this banner. And as I heard, in, in my opinion, Tag Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta is better than Beast Gohan. Vegeta, he, Vegeta, no, 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 no. Beast Gohan claps Vegeta. Goku, he ain't playing around. He claps Go Gohan. Easy. No diff. Okay, okay, yes, diff. High diff, actually. But yeah, still, this this Gogeta is number one unit in the game. Number one ultra. Number one hair unit in the game. Number one, I don't know, number one blue-haired unit. Number one fusion unit. It's just number one unit by a mile. Number number one unit by a mile. So guys, just keep, just keep summoning. Test your luck. If you have a free summon, hey, go ahead and summon my glass right now if you want to save up and try to get more summons smarter idea but you're gonna have to do that like i don't know it's gonna take a couple of hours a day so yeah just try your hardest and i will see you guys in the next video so that was a total of sixteen thousand eight hundred Chrono Crystals. make sure you guys follow them follow them up and yes and let me and before i end this video i'm gonna just say like a couple of words i'm gonna just say um a couple of words don't think this is very easy the way I said it. This is actually very difficult. I think it's going to take about a month to do all of this. But before anyone judge or think that this is going to take like a couple of minutes, hours, it doesn't take overnight success. It's going to take months in order to do it. And when I mean months, probably to like fifth anniversary. 
to probably do this. If it's anniversary, you know I'm expecting Otrigo Vegeta. You can bet your bottom dollar I'm expecting Otrigo Vegeta. Or or another Dragon Ball Super Collab, like Orange Piccolo. But if we don't get that, if we don't get any of them, who can it possibly be? Can it be Toshi as an LF? Zero percent chance. Oh, literally, can it be um a tag? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we might, and we also make sure you guys be careful with your Chrono Crystals because we are getting a new, we are getting a new tag for January. It'll we'll spend like one thousand, two thousand, and then continue the save up because better yet, I want to summon now, but I probably won't pull this Ultra unit. I mean, I did that with Ultra Super Gogeta and then pull them, but yeah, I want to probably end this video here. But yeah. Okay, but I'm not, I'm not going to end the video here because I still have to talk to you guys about a couple of other things. Okay. So, my luck with Ultra characters has not been good. The only Ultra character that I had good luck on was Super Saiyan Blue Kyle K Goku. And I'm going to turn off my microphone right quick. So continuing what I was saying, the they only Ultra unit I had good luck on was Ultra Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. That's it. That was, that is the only Ultra unit I had good luck on. I didn't have good luck on Ultra Super Vegito. I didn't have good luck on Ultra Super, Ultra Super Gogeta. Super Saiyan Gogeta. I didn't even have good luck on Ultra Broly. I only had good luck. Our Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. And don't even mind the free to play ultras, because they are not good. They're like one star sparking units. Like one star. It's probably like a one star. I don't know. Like a three star world champion Hercule sparking. So those ultra units are straight up doo doo. And if you have Beast Gohan going against that Ultra Super Saiyan Goku, Ultra Super Saiyan Goku might as well just pray because he's going to be dead the moment you blink. All Beast Gohan has to do is just land one special move and that Goku is dead. In my opinion, probably the second worst Ultra unit. I think the, the number one Ultra unit, in my opinion, either has to be Vegeta or Omega Shenron. It's those two because Ultra Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta is not even being close. I'm going to say it again. He is not even going to be close to the worst character in the game. I don't care if y'all pay me $1,000 to literally say that Ultra Gogeta was the worst character in the game. I'm not saying that. Because he's not. I mean, I'm speaking straight facts, am I? Because he's not the worst character in the game and never will be. So, that is why the, the Chrono Cruise was about to go away. I will have 241 and I also will complete the story mode. But if I don't pull this Ultra unit, I'm really going to be mad. I am really going to be mad. Because this is honestly, like, yeah, 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 yeah. The Future Base is a guaranteed LF. The GT Base is the guaranteed LF. The Destroy Glacier is a guaranteed LF. All of these are guaranteed LFs. And he was the only one I got lucky with. Like, I pulled him once, and then pulled him twice. On a 700 Chrono Crystal Summon. Tell me. Tell me how. Tell me how. Then I get that lucky. So I'm going to have to cut that part out. But yeah, bye.